Oh, hello everybody. You join uh, Monty and me today. We're back on the River Via and uh, we're catching a few small fish. Dace, roach, and an occasional minnow. You never know, there might be uh, a bit of fish just around the corner. Touch. Yep, did. That's what we're using. Uh, a little stick float, three foot, and a single maggot, which has been going through the tube. Just a couple of hours out on the water. It's uh, very lucky this is uh, a five minute drive from my home, so and there's lots and lots of different swims we can try. I've not been to this one before, but I've fished the uh, other bank. So been very close to it and uh, it's the same fish perhaps they're cousins who knows we're just dropping it into a little eddy letting it go along a bit and here we are we're in there into a fish straight away just an ivy little bugger There we go. There's a good start on the camera. A nice little roach. Back he goes. So single maggot. Let's drop it in again. Just two rod lengths out. See what happens. So at the moment we're uh, getting a bite almost every chuck in. Not very big, but now fish. I think if we keep feeding it, you never know. Something a bit bigger might come along. Certainly a few maggots in isn't doing it any harm. saying that this will be the first cast in ages we don't get a bite but uh, that's typical as soon as you turn the camera on but yeah we have got a bite there we go it's uh, just playing with it a bit it's going to be very small I think <sighs> that's small that we missed it Not much left of the maggot. Just try a yellow one. Fish straight away, I should think. What do you think, Monty? It's 
time just put it into the flow so I'm just going to trot it down a bit and drag it back into the eddy if we don't get a bite Oh no, we haven't. Oh, oh, look at that. I have to get close to show that. It's a minnow. What do you think of that then, boy? The master scores again. Like that. Boy. Impressed. Boy, there must be uh, in this stretch there's some uh, nice chubs so you never know keep feeding a bit of bait in and uh, maybe uh, we'll get rewarded with something might actually need the landing net but for now just see if we get four in again Oh, someone's actually putting a bend in the rod. Oh, mm, would have done. It's come off. Come off, boy. Now you didn't see that. There was a bend in the rod, so it was obviously a very big fish. That's what we'll be telling people. Now again. Just on the edge of the, where the water's moving and the slack. Seems to be where they're fishing. Just shoveling up. Now then. Oh. Cracking bite. Oh, we're in again. Look at that. There's no stopping us now. No stopping us. What do you think, boy? Minnow. Fresh, don't you? Right. We've got a size 18 hook on. So uh, let's be daring and put two maggots on. Let's see if we can sort out a slightly bigger fish. I think we're going to be a little chubby here. Another little fish. That's a nice roach. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. And it decides to come off. Nice little roach. Back he goes. Having covered me in muck. Thank you, fish. We'll have to uh, net a fish if we get another one like that. That was uh, a bit of strain on the fish that we didn't need to do. Uh, the uh, float we're using today, I'll show it to you in a minute. A uh, pretty old one. Um, went to a Oh. Missed it. Oh. 
good bike. Um, went to a car boot sale in France and uh, I don't know if you can see that, I'll try and hold it still. This float is uh, very similar to the sort of thing we used to buy when I was a teenager and uh, it was in a box with um, some very similar floats from I would think from the 70s or 80s and um, uh, this one hasn't got anything written on it but there was one very similar that uh, was uh, had the manufacturer's name Shakespeare on it so long before the days of uh, like modern stick floats uh, I went into a, a tackle shop in Southampton a couple of weeks ago and uh, said explained what I wanted for stick floats and uh, they uh, didn't keep much of a range um, not something perhaps people do very often back in England or off to carp fisheries but uh, here in France the river is very close to where I live so this is the sort of fishing that I did in my youth which uh, I'm still enjoying today big fish but it's just still a challenge you never quite know you can be trotting away like this and catching little roach and all of a sudden a, a chubble snaffle it and uh, it's that bit of excitement of not knowing really I'm nothing at all. A few maggots in. Never know what you're going to get. Little knock, little knock. Yep, he's got it. Ooh. Oh dear. <laughs> well, after the nice roach, uh, we're back to minnows again. It's a fish, isn't it, boy? I will tell you that uh, you can't see it, but uh, um, it's water is not clear enough for me to film it, but. Uh, shows you how um, how well this river's doing. Every time I catch a fish I change the maggot and I throw the old maggot just down in front of where Monty the dog is and uh, instantly the small fry gather around it and pull it to pieces. I by the look at the size of them they're probably this year's and um, Bodes well. We've uh, the uh, oh, and again. What's this? Another roach. Just a. smaller one this time, just under the uh, 
No, I did not, I think. What my friend Frank would call a swinger inner. Well, with that little fish, I think that's about all we've got time for today. Um, we haven't caught anything very big. This one's no different. It's a tiny little dace. I hope you enjoyed watching our afternoon out on the River Veer. And uh, you'll join us again shortly. But uh, me and Monty, it's time to go home. So uh, perhaps have one last cast and then pack up. Last cast of the day, and uh, caught a nice little roach. There he is. Lively little fellow. Boys, when you catch a little roach like that, you think maybe we'll have just one more. Um.